Hey guys, Ezra Time again here. Welcome back to another movie review. And today, I want to review a movie called Totally Killer. You know, because I think uh, we're in the month of October now, and obviously this is the spooky season. So I thought that would be a good idea to talk about a horror movie. So I think we start with the newest horror movie that, movie that got released. You know, because I do have some other uh, older horror movies that I want to talk about, which is directed by Wes Craven. But first, I want to talk about this movie first. You know, and I think there will be uh, spoilers for this review, you know, be so if you guys haven't watched the movie, then well, do not watch this review, you know, watch the movie first, and then you guys can go back to watch this review if you want, to, uh, if you wanted to, of course. Um, so, the movie Totally Killer is basically, like, back to the future, but with, you know, slasher elements to it, you know, because it does tell a story for a teenage girl named uh, Jamie Hughes, played by Kierna Shipka, where she basically time traveled to 1987 to stop uh, the killer that killed her mother in 2023. And, you know, that's the basic premise, you know. And I feel like, obviously, it's similar to Back to the Future, right? And then, obviously, the movie also make a lot of reference to Back to the Future. Even the characters is, like, using Back to the Future as a wave to explain her situation in 1987, you know. Um, and, yeah, so the movie itself is... Uh, it also has some Halloween elements, you know, like Michael Myers in some in some way, uh, because I, obviously if you see the killer's mask, it's like yeah, I mean it's literally wearing a human mask, kind of like Michael Myers, except maybe it's you know less cooler. But at the same time, it was a good mask, you know, it's a good costume for the killer, you know, I like it personally, and it was like yeah, it's it's a it's a great stuff, you know, for the costume for the killer itself, you know, um, and. For the movie itself, you know, because we are following this time travel plot, uh, there is some uh, potential that I wish they could be, they could use that in the movie, you know, which they didn't. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that later, you know, but first, uh, obviously the movie starts with the Halloween day in 2023, and there is this uh, a killer in 19, 1987, where it was known as the Sweet 16 killer, because every single time the killer killed someone, like he always stabbed the, the, the victim. 16 times you know and and i think at the time like the the, the first murder happened on like the switch uh 16th birthday i think for like one of the victims his mother is uh basically paranoid about uh the killer because apparently she received like a note from the killer or supposedly as we thought um and that's why she's been preparing jamie you know to be really careful teaching her like martial arts in some way to defend herself uh, but eventually, you know, the killer find uh, his mother, Pam. And even though Pam put, uh, you know, put up a good fight, to be honest, you know, against the killer. But I feel like, you know, like her cockiness might be the one that killed her in the end. Because, like, she's, like, so certain that she could get away from this killer. But apparently no, because the killer still killed her by stabbing her 16 times, you know. Um, which kind of, like, built this mystery for the movie. You know, like, why did the killer come back in 2023? Because, like... The murder only happened in 1987 and three teenagers was killed, you know, which I think is, again, another reference to the original Halloween, you know. Um, and for some reason, the killer come back in uh, 2023, you know. And, uh, of course, uh, Jamie is regretting, uh, you know, her decision, you know, for not trusting her mother, you know. And then obviously doesn't really showing her love for, the mo for her mother, you know. And she decided to uh, basically investigate who is this killer, you know. Why did the killer come out in 2023, you know, and not, like you know like you know the years previously you know, because you have you have so many years and then for some reason he decided to appear now you know why um so he met up with this uh private investigation you could say named chris dubuzak i think I, again I, I probably mispronounced his last name but chris you know the private investigator which i think is a delightful character in a way you know delightful right um and this is where we found out that her mother received a note uh saying that your next one day and that kind of like adds to the clue that oh like this killer is like threatening her uh you know to be killed you know since 1987 apparently you know? um so jamie decided to go to her best friends amelia creston and apparently amelia is is been building you know a time machine based on her mother's work you know because her mother is like been working hard to build this time machine but apparently it, it never works before um until one day the killer decided to target uh jamie you know and then that's where jamie decided to get into the time machine and then that's where he tra traveled to 1987 that's where he met uh her mother and apparently we found out that her mother is like uh friends with the molly gangs you know which is like the original three 
victims in 1987, you know, and we also find out that Pam is apparently is pretty bitchy, you know, back in the day. And it was like, whoa, okay, geez, you know, and the movie itself has a lot of jokes that probably didn't really work for me because there are times where I just like cringing for Jamie's character, you know, because I was like, dude, like, go, please, j just stop talking, please, you know, because I feel like she handled her situation not, uh, like, it's not that smart. You know, because she, sometimes she forget that this is this is 1987, you know, and then of course do we see explain thing with like Back to the Future and stuff like that. It works for like the the other character, uh, named you know Lauren Creston, which is the mother of of, of Amelia Creston, and that's why but she know about the time travel part because well she built the time machine, right? So it makes sense that she know. Uh, but I feel like for the rest of the situation, like I feel like the movie's joke doesn't really work for me. You know, I was like, okay, like it's a nice attempt, and I see what they were going, but. Doesn't really work for me, you know. Um, and so, so this for the rest of the character. To be honest, like the rest of the Molly Gans was just like kind of, kind of like a scumbag character that I don't really care about. And to the point that I'm actually kind of siding with the killer, you know. And even Jamie is also one point siding with the killer, you know, because like they keep screwing her up, you know, every single time, even though she's just trying to help them, you know. But um, obviously, the best part about the movie is like when the killer is actually on the screen. It was actually well directed, you know. I feel like the action scene is great, you know, like um, where they try to beat up the killer, but apparently the killer is just like uh, too uh, fast, you know, in a way. And in some in some scene, probably too durable in in a way. But I feel like it's a really well directed scene at, at the end of the day, you know. Um, and we get to see the first murder happen, and it happens differently this time because apparently Jamie changed the future and. And this is where I was like, oh, okay, this could be interesting, you know, to see like the future change, you know, and then we go, we we get to see that. But I feel like there is not enough um, huge consequences, you know, because even then they also bring it, uh, bring up the Back to the Future uh, story, you know, where you know Martin McFly going back to uh, 1980, uh, 1955, right? And then uh, apparently if he if you know if his parent doesn't you know get married, you know, or, like get together, uh, obviously. Uh, uh, you know, Marty and the rest of the family obviously disappear, you know, because obviously the parents didn't get together in 1955, you know, but apparently in this movie that was wrong, you know, because if Jamie does screw up the, the relationship between her mother and father, then apparently she's gonna be fine, you know, it's just that if he uh, travel back into the future, then well, she doesn't have any family, she's just gonna be there, you know, which is like, yeah, okay, this is gonna be lonely and pretty shocking, but at the same time, it's not that, uh, you know, uh, engaging or like that uh, high stakes like Back to the Future. It also has some potential for how the past and the future kind of like interact with the, with the event, you know, because the movie does show that, but I feel like it doesn't go to a full potential because I was expecting something really cool, you know, where the killer also uh, has some connection with the, the time travel, you know, that's what I thought in the first place, and I was like, okay, this could be interesting, but apparently that, that wasn't the case, you know, it's like, uh, it kind of sucks, you know, like, you kind of show that the, the the future does change, but I feel like it, it's not really that, you know, mind-blowing, it was like, oh, okay, and like, you just change the history, and then, boom, that's it, you know, like, okay, you know, and the second murder happens in a cabin in the middle of the woods, because obviously you have to do that, you know, and yeah, it's, it's, it's another fun scene, in, in my opinion, because we get to see the character fighting the killer, but eventually, the killer still won and still get away, you know, even though there's like three guys, uh, you know, ganging out on him, you know, but at the same time, he still get away, and then he managed to claim another victim, which eventually leads us to the, the third killing in the, in the movie itself, you know, where we follow the third character that's about to be killed, and then they try to trap the killer inside the dollhouse, I think, and it's, again, it's really fun because all the characters actually came together this time, and then they actually take the uh, situation seriously, which is thank God, you know. Like, imagine your friend just get murdered, and then you just like, hey, yeah, let's just hang out in the cabin of, in the middle of the woods, you know, even though there's like a potential killer that's targeting us, you know. And then now, like, the second friend is that now they're actually taking things seriously, thank God. Um, and this time, they have actually managed to get the killer and actually managed to kill him, you know, and... It was, you know, it was a reveal that uh, there's this character named Doc Summer that we've been following uh, him throughout the movie. Um, oh, sorry, not throughout the movie, but like he does occasionally pop up on certain scenes, you know. Um, and we found out that he's actually the killer because, because apparently the group is responsible for killing uh, his girlfriend, uh, Trish, you know. Because, uh, Doc decided to kill this this Molly gang, you could say that, you know, except for Pam because Pam wasn't there when the accident happened, you know, which is going to explain the motive in a way. But eventually, another twist is coming, is that there is a second killer that appeared out of nowhere, and I was like, oh, okay, there is a second killer, because I thought that, well, it was too easy in a way, you know, because, and also the movie kind of like, uh, bring up uh, Scream, obviously, where 
Jamie said, oh, this is gonna be like Scream, you know, because there's like two killers, you know. And they have another chase in uh, to do like a, a ride or something, like a quantum ride, you could say that, you know, where they send up another time machine. So Jamie can go back to the future and while uh, figuring out the identity of the killer, you know, like she succeeded, you know, but there is a second killer, you know, who is the second killer? Well, it was revealed to be Chris, you know, the private investigator from the future. And apparently he managed to time travel back through time because you know like uh amelia was actually building another time machine you know so he can so she can like return uh jimmy back to the future you know but eventually chris is like sabotage that machine and use that machine to travel back through the past you know in 1987 and we see this final battle in the right which i think is a pretty cool scene you know where we see pam jimmy and uh chris is like and they try to get away from the killer but eventually uh jimmy pushed pam out of the time machine you know because obviously like she can time travel back to the future because obviously that's gonna cause like a time paradox you could say that you know and uh the rule is that you need to stay in the middle of the time machine so you don't you know you don't like uh vaporize or like uh getting stuck in the infinite time loop or something like that i can't exactly sp explain it you know but it's like a time loop thing in you know, where it's like if you don't stay in the middle then you're probably gonna like floating in space and time like forever you know and eventually that's what happens to chris the killer you know like he doesn't get to the middle of the machine because Jamie is like shooting him with a bunch of nail gun, you know, and then he just vaporized, you know, he just vanished, you know. Um, so we back to the future, and then we found out that the future also has changed, you know, because uh, Jamie is having a brother apparently because he doesn't have a brother. Uh, she doesn't have a brother in the original timeline, but now in the new timeline she has a brother, you know, and then now her name is Colette, you know. Um. And the only person that remembers everything everything from the past is actually uh, uh, Lauren Creston. She's been writing this uh, notebook for uh, Colette where she points out, you know, like the differences in this uh, new timeline, you know, and then that's how the movie ends. Um, and I think there's probably a tease for a sequel in a way if they want to, but I feel like it's probably just good for a standalone movie, to be honest. You know, I can see why they released this movie on streaming, even though I think this is like a fun movie in a way, but I don't think I want to see this movie on theaters, you know, but a streaming movie, it was really fun in my opinion, you know. Again, yes, I'm alone for the Back to the Future, it also has some elements from uh, Happy Death, uh, Happy Death Day, you know, um, and obviously uh, Jamie's character is also reminding me of like Tris, the character from Happy Death Day, you know, because like, again, like the act, the performance and then how the characters, you know, uh, act in the story is kind of similar in a way, you know, because obviously there is some jokes that Maybe it doesn't really work for me, but it was fine, you know, like I know what they were going for. Um, and there's some character that probably doesn't really do much in the movie. Like uh, at one point, Randall Park appear as uh, Sheriff Dennis, Lam uh, Dennis Lim. And her ca his character doesn't even do anything. She just like appeared there to be funny and annoying, to be honest, you know, and then that's it. You know, so it's like, all right, why is he like, why is he here in the first place? Then he doesn't do anything, you know, but... At the same time, it was a fun movie, you know, so if you guys haven't watched the movie, well, I guess you guys can go watch it, you know, even though I already spoiled you guys, in a way. Um, but still, you know, if you want to check it out, then check it out, you know, because I feel like the sequence for when the killer is on the screen is really fun, you know. And yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below, guys, what do you guys think about this uh, movie right here, you know, do you guys love it or do you guys didn't like it, you know. Um, you guys can tell me your opinions in the comment section below, if you want to, of course. And if you guys enjoyed this review video, then make sure you guys, you know, time travel back in 2018 and hit the subscribe button you know and don't forget to leave a like you know and stay tuned for more videos in the future guys um and i hope you guys enjoy this review and i will see you guys in the next one then bye